everyone, Mark the Movie Man here, and yes, it is that time again where I have to face my consequences for the You Reviewers predictions that I made before the awards shows were put out last week. Now, first off, I want to say the You Reviewers Awards show was fun this year. It was great to see it back on the two channels, Jeremy Jans and the Schmoes. Uh, some of the hardest working people in the YouTube Reviewiverse definitely put together a fun show to watch, an entertaining show, and in some ways a lot better than the Oscar uh, show that was on Sunday night. Now, on to my consequences. I got many wrong, which shows you just how unpredictable the You Reviewers Movie Awards is, unlike the Oscars. I got more than half my predictions right from the Oscars. They threw a couple of twists at me, but with the You Reviewers Awards, out of like 12 predictions, I got three right. Though, I am proud that I was able to guess the Stink Pile of the Year Award, though that was probably the easiest prediction to make, even with the uh, nominees that they had. So, with my consequences, you will look for reviews within the next month, a uh, month and a half, depending on how long it takes me to get these movies. Uh, I'll be watching and reviewing the Smurfs, That's My Boy, New Year's Eve, and Jack and Jill. Uh, those were the movies suggested by some great movie reviewers out there. Not only the Schmoes Knows, but also Gab and Dad, and Two Jews on Film. They helped suggest some horrible films they thought would be evil consequences, and I have to agree with them. So look for reviews of those four movies within the next month, month and a half, I promise you. Uh, no cone of shame this time, though. I don't have a cone of shame. Uh, but also, just check out uh, the You Reviewer Awards if you haven't yet. There was a four-part show, a lot of fun. I really hope to see those guys back again next year. It is the most honest movie review, uh, movie awards show you will probably see because it is done by people like you and I who just have a passion for films. Some of the trusted names in the You Reviewer verse, and uh, they put together this show every year now the last three years, and it's been fun. Definitely trying to guess how it's going to go and even getting it wrong is kind of fun. I uh, get to watch some movies that are completely out of uh, my comfort range and are completely horrible. So, thank you again folks for watching and sticking with us. You can catch me all over the place now. I'm on Astro Radio Z Podcast. I'm still occasionally on the Dixon Cider Show. I'm on uh, Bordello of Horror on The Vortex on Livestream.com slash The Vortex. And you can catch some of my written work on www.jedbundy.com uh, Yeah, I'm, I'm expanding here folks. Having a lot of fun talking movies, getting to meet a lot of people. And I thank every one of you for your support and your time and your views because without you I I wouldn't be doing this I just be some guy by myself talking to a camera all alone um uh, yeah okay <laughs> until next time folks uh, keep that ticket stuff